All right, part two, gonna go over the interior of the uh, truck. I do wanna show inside the uh, bed again one more time. Tear on there. This does have a mat in here. Okay. I'm actually going to start in the rear seats. Power boards work great. All right. This does have the ram bins. As you can see, these are actually removable. They come out you can wash it off anything like that something spills in there um, i told you a salesman was driving it he left his coat in here so i'll get that taken care of um i do want to unbuckle this here seats pick up as you can see it does have a little storage compartment underneath here seat condition looks great A little bit of uh, dirt right here we can get cleaned off, no big deal. Back to the driver's seat. I'm gonna turn the heated seats on back here, just to make sure uh, they do heat up. Plug, USB, USB-Cs, looks good. A little cubby. Yeah, exterior. Uh, interior rather on the rear looks good I'm gonna go to the passenger side now just to double check this whole side make sure that seat picks up we'll give those seat warmers a couple minutes here to make sure they get heated up yeah i can't feel it yet Good. Plenty of storage space. This piece here can fold down. As you can see, it is up. Just so if you put something in here, it doesn't roll past it. it does have the ram bin on this side as well. And that floor mat will cover that right up. This is just. I don't know if the salesman or something put his coat back here when it was wet. That's just a little bit of, you can just see dried water spot basically. That'll get wiped right off. Seat is getting warm. I'm gonna leave that go until the end of the video. We'll come to the back seat again. Just make sure they're getting nice and hot. look good now i don't believe i mentioned this we do offer a ceramic coating package that um, is nationwide coverage seven years unlimited miles um, the biggest thing to me is these interiors on these leather trucks these laramies and limiteds they're super expensive super nice quality um, it actually covers the seats for rips up to six inches punctures up to one inch diameter and it also covers uh, like your dash from cracking in that seven years, any stains, anything like that. They actually say that even if a dog gets in here and chews up your door panel, they'll actually pay to have that door panel replaced. Other thing is it covers that clear coat, obviously being a ceramic coating. Covers the clear coat, covers any black plastic trim pieces here from discoloring and headlights from yellowing. Other big thing is wheels. It covers your wheels from pitting. So if your wheels pit at all in that seven year period, they are covered and will be replaced. So that, that is uh, $699, seven year nationwide coverage, unlimited miles. Just something to consider. If you are interested in that, let me know. I can go ahead and get that applied. Uh, obviously it is $699. Hopping into the driver's seat. All right, here we go. All right exact miles 74,649 miles 
I'll put some fuel in there, don't worry about that. As you can see, no lights on, obviously. This is your menu selector. So you can go through here, look through fuel economy, your trip information, um, auto start stop. There's a lot of setting stuff in here you can play with. Screen setup is gonna display whether you know you want your compass here, temperature, or if you want your fuel mileage or range. Uh, we can go over all that. Then you have a digital speedometer. Over here on the left hand side, you're gonna have your light controls, your dome light controls and your gauge um, brightness effects. You're gonna have your power pedal adjustments and your parking brake. It's everything over here on the left hand side of the column. On the door, you're gonna have memory seat one and two. You're gonna have your power folding mirror controls, your left right toggle and your actual mirror adjustment controls. Window controls, lock and window lock. It's everything over here. Um, your wipers are right here, control, and your bright lights and everything are gonna work off that shaft as well. Um, over here, you're gonna have your cruise control, that's this section, and your adaptive cruise control is here. Your gear limit, that's just for really if you're working in a lot of hilly areas, especially if you're pulling a trailer or something like that and you wanna uh, stay in a lower gear to take off, um, you can limit that here. Uh, you might know all of this already. I'm just trying to be as thorough as I can be for you. So you can fast forward if this is a little uh, too basic. I'll go ahead and start it up so everything lights up a little bit more. Um, gear shift, four wheel drive controls, and this is your neutral. Um, neutral so you can put it essentially into four wheel drive low. Uh, I'll believe, I'll double check, but I believe you can flat tow this with that. Auto start stop button here. Down here you have two USB controls, an aux port, and two USB-Cs. Over here you're going to have this blank spot. If you ever want to add a trailer brake controller, an OEM one from Chrysler, that goes right here. So this piece actually pops out and then they can plug in the uh, factory one so it's all nice and clean. You don't have anything big and bulky right here. You're going to have your traction control toggle, tow haul mode. That's going to limit the shift points in your transmission um, or, or optimize those two uh, better tow capacity, I should, shouldn't say tow capacity, but rather ease of towing, keeping it in those lower gears and allowing uh, that to slow you down a little bit more um, than burning your brakes up as fast. Front and rear parking sensors, toggles on and off. Coming up here to the top of the screen, you're gonna have your lane departure um, off button, your hazards and your self park. We actually have a tutorial video if you'd like, I can send it to you on how to use the self park. Um, for me, this system hates me and I can get it to work one every 10 times. A lot of people who have it in their own vehicles, um, they, they figure it out and get it to work really well for them. I just don't have a lot of experience using it more than in training and here on the lot. But uh, we do have a tutorial video for that we've made in the past, I can send over to you. These are your analog climate controls, right and left. Um, everything you can do here, you can also do on this screen. Um, I like these for while you're driving. If you have the screen set over here on media or radio, um, you don't have climate <clears throat> blown up on the whole screen. You can still adjust your stuff without with ease rather, rather than playing on a buttons on the screen. You're going to have your navigation. Media is going to be like Bluetooth connected or, or, or um, uh, aux, auxiliary plug-in. You also have your AM, FM connections here. And then you also have Sirius XM option if you have the subscription. You can blow up the map here as well. So if you want to go ahead and do that, you can while you're driving if you want to have it loaded up here you're also going to have apple carplay and android auto when you plug it in with the usb port down here so if you have a phone cord bring it with you plug it in you can have your maps blown up on the screen over here to apps this is going to be every option on the truck as far as um without having to go into a climate to get to your uh, heated seats and stuff you can do that right through apps so heated driver heated ventilated driver heated seats all that kind of good stuff the driver heated seat is on and it is toasty so i'm gonna go ahead and turn that off the heated steering wheel is on and very, very warm. I'm gonna turn that off as well. I'm gonna actually turn on the ventilated seat, make sure that works. Um, controls blows up all this little menu right down here. So your heated seats, your ventilated seats, your heated steering wheel, driver and passenger controls are right there. Your dimming mirror, so your mirror up here is an auto dimming mirror. Um, you can turn that on and off. You have deploy side steps. Uh, you can do that while you're driving. Backup camera, I can hit this button and it will actually turn on the backup camera. So if you wanted to do that while you're driving, you can, or I can turn on the surround view camera, see what all's around me, as you can see there. Um, that's pretty much it for the controls menu, backup camera here in your phone. The rest of this I can go over in person, uh, makes it a little bit easier. Ventilated seat is working, and honestly it feels good because that heated seat does not mess around. 
All right, in here you do have a USB port, a um, little bit of storage container right there. Here, go ahead and flip this seat up. As you can see, as good a shape as all the rest. We do have a storage compartment underneath here as well. Now in here, you do have your CD player, which a lot of them don't have anymore. So that's kind of cool. Actually, I can come over here and see, yep, right there, disc. There it is, so cool. Um, over here, you're gonna have your 110 outlet right here. And you have another cubby you can use right here. Try programmable garage door opener, right and left driver lights, tailgate deploy. Um, this is your lights off. And, you know, basically when the doors open, it won't light these up. Some people don't want that. This operates your rear window. Let's see if I can get it in the, there it is, in the mirror there. SOS and assist. Um, essentially, it's gonna call 911 and this can be like an OnStar, essentially. Um, other than that, everything else seems to be good in here. The uh, passenger heated seat, let me fire that bad boy up real quick. That on high. Um, everything else looks to be in great shape and working order. I'm going to... Good and toasty. It's not super, super hot like the front, but it is pretty warm. I've noticed that in the past where the rear seats just don't get as hot as the driver and passenger seats, um, but everything is working. There's no uh, issues there, it is warm. Obviously I'm putting my hand on it, not sitting on it as well. But um, yep, seems to be nice and warm though, no issues there. I'm gonna come around to the passenger seat real quick, see if that heated seat's heated up enough that I can feel it for you. Other than that, I hope this has been thorough enough. Hope there's uh, no doubts at all and you are super confident and comfortable with the purchase. Uh, like I said, if you need anything else, just let me know. I'm more than happy to get over as much as I can. Yeah, it's starting to warm up already, so we're good there. Like I said, just let me know. I'm happy to help any way I can. I want to make sure you're confident and comfortable, um, no doubts at all, and hopefully it's been an easy uh, process for you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. You can reach me at 567-301-6953.